Hi viewers, we meet again. Verbal communication plays a significant role in our daily life. We communicate in different ways but the aim is the same to convey information regarding certain matters. We also use verbal communication to relay our feelings towards one another. While using verbal communication, indirectly we would be using non-verbal communication too. Delivering your ideas and thoughts might sound terrifying especially when you are nervous or sitting for an important examination. Therefore, let's take a look at few ways to help you in delivering your ideas and thoughts effectively. For this lesson, we are going to focus on examination purposes, oral presentations. In Malaysia, we have few examinations, MUET, PT3, SPM and other examinations that might involve oral presentations. Each examination has different format and methods for presenting ideas. Even the questions are different from one another. Just to remind you, some of the notes in this lesson could help you organizing your thoughts and ideas before presenting them. Organization is crucial in order to deliver your ideas and thoughts clearly and evidently. Speaking for a specific purpose, choose your context. Provide examples or evidence to support your context. Use suitable linkers or connectors. Use sentences that suit you the most. Context is important as it connects you with your audience or your listeners. Context allows you to deliver your points clearly and it is easier for your listeners to understand you. Situational context refers to the reason why you are speaking at that particular moment. Environmental context refers to the place and time in which you are speaking. When we are giving a speech or an oral presentation, does it mean we have to persuade our listeners? In a way, yes, it is depending on your purpose at that particular time. Who are you persuading at that moment? Friends, examiners, teachers? Are there any techniques that we can utilize while we are presenting our opinions or ideas? One of the famous techniques of persuasion speech is by using ethos, pathos and logos, modes of persuasion in our speech or oral presentation. So, ethos. A speaker's credibility and ethic focus on trustworthiness and respect, similarity to the audience, authority, expertise, reputation. Politician and teachers use ethos most of the time. While pathos, a speaker's emotions and feelings focus on positive or negative emotions while delivering ideas, analogies and metaphor, humor or storytelling. Advertisers and writers use pathos most of the time. Lastly, logos, a speaker's logic and reasons focus on comprehensiveness easily understood, involve the listeners actively being specific, provide evidence, data or statistic. Advertisers and companies use logos most of the time. So about context, is it the same as the focus or gist of our presentation? Since this lesson is about oral presentation in examination, so our context would have to follow the questions or the situations given in the question paper. Let's say I have to give a presentation, the disadvantages of being a procrastinator. So you have to focus on what is a procrastinator, examples of things that a procrastinator usually does, how many disadvantages you would like to discuss, how long can you present your idea. So practically, I have to focus on the disadvantages caused by the procrastinator. Yes, so that the listeners can easily understand you and you will answer the questions accordingly. Um, let's take a look at an outline of a speech or oral presentation. So the topic is the disadvantages of being a procrastinator. So we have to introduce the subject or the focus, procrastinator. So uh, procrastinator likes to postpone his action, habits of procrastinating may affect other people. So the first idea would be uh, promote negative stress towards other people. Uh, the supporting detail would be could experience anxiety, stress, breakdown and the impact would be you are the one uh, who, lead, who will be leading them to have heart attack. The next point would be could lead to a poor product, incompetent uh, presentation and people might have negative impression towards you, incompetency. And lastly, if uh, necessary, you can give suggestion, uh, set a good timetable, prioritize, arrange your time in certain order. So practically, this is an outline. 
Okay, let's try a different question this time around. So the question is the importance of going green and its benefits towards our economy. So focus on what is going green, lifestyle, uh, which can help to protect environment. Focus on what is economy because of uh, the two words here, going green and economy. And uh, relate going green to boost our economy, household, country's economy. So this is uh, an outline for um, the next question, the importance of going green and its benefits towards our economy. Okay, again, we have to introduce the subject or our focus is going green to change uh, lifestyle, to help mother nature, to recuperate, to reduce global warming, to boost economy, household or country. So our first point would be grow your own vegetables. You can state hydroponic so that we can reduce the global warming and also we can sell the vegetables to earn some money. The second idea would be sell pre-loved item to earn pocket money, contribute to the society and also boost local economy because we are buying local product. If necessary, you can give suggestions like use uh, organic fertilizer to reduce chemical waste or you can walk as a good exercise or you can uh, sell used cooking oil so on and so forth. So this is the second outline. Okay, uh, I believe by now you can understand how to prepare an outline for an oral presentation. For any occasions or examinations, preparation is crucial in order for you to organize your thoughts and ideas before presenting them. There are many interesting ways to outline your thoughts and ideas. Most important part, you have to find ways to connect your thoughts and ideas in a way that they flow smoothly while you are presenting. Let's take a look at an outline. Uh, again, we are go going to look at the procrastinator question. Uh, this is an example for you and it depends on you if you want to prepare more than two main ideas for your presentation later. Okay, uh, introduction, salutation is a must. Good morning to the examiners and fellow candidates. So opening, you state very clearly. A procrastinator likes to postpone his action. Your focus is procrastinator. And then your topic sentence, there are many disadvantages of procrastination, not only to the procrastinators, but towards people around them. So main idea, we use promote negative stress and supporting detail would be final decision, submission on certain work, completion in things that you have been assigned, your thoughts on certain issues. And then the effects would be uh, towards other people, not only you but towards other people anxiety attack high level of stress and emotional breakdowns so the impact would be may lead to high blood pressure or even heart attack and we are going to look at the second one the main idea number two the incompetency of handling things trusted in you could lead to a poor product incomplete research paper or assignment incompetent presentation so the effects towards other people because our our focus is effects towards other people. People might have negative impression towards you if you keep repeating the same pattern in your life. And then the impact is you cannot be easily trusted. So conclusion, uh, you may give suggestion if necessary. Set good timetable, arrange your time and then closure. Procrastination is pretty normal. But to make it as a habit is a bit agonizing towards other people who would always give you ample of room for improvement. So this is uh, the example of uh, speaking presentation. So here you are. Uh, you can see sample of full presentation text that I have uh, prepared. It might look long, longer than it should be, but when you are speaking, uh, it will give you a lot of um, room to deliver your ideas. So practically, this is the speaking text. Okay, let's do some recap on today's lesson. Speaking for a specific purpose, your context, evidence, example, connectors and sentence that suit you the most. Last but not least, don't forget good body language and be confident while presenting. Hope you can try out uh, with different questions. So bye for now.